Right, so here we are by uh, this place. Of course, you'll remember last time I said I wanted to start working on some tunnels. I think that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, also, last time uh, I was talking a bit about Doctor Who, which is, as I've said, my favourite show, or at least one of my favourite shows. And I've actually watched the two new episodes that have come out. And, well, I have some thoughts. Um... First of all, in the last video I made a joke, basically, because I transitioned to speaking about abortion after having spoken about Doctor Who for a while, and I said, anyway, enough controversial stuff, let's talk about abortion. And it turns out I have the gift of prophecy, because the first episode was dealing with, like, space babies. If, you don't, if, you, if you're not into Doctor Who, don't, don't ask. But it was dealing with space babies, and the topic of abortion kind of came up. Basically, one of the things that was said was, like... Um, Oh, they're making them have the babies, but they're not in this alien baby farm, which is okay. <laughs> yeah, why not? I guess. Um, hmm. Ooh. Okay, where am I coming out now? That's actually that's actually very good. Okay, I'm happy with that. But yeah, anyway, so they were like in this basically this alien planet baby farm. And um, one of the things was that there was no one to look after the babies after they were born. And so someone said, oh, there's, they're, they're making the babies be born, but not have anyone to look out for them. That's so bad. And then the, the human person just kind of went, well, it's, it's not that hard. And that's basically one of the pro-choice things is like, we should be allowed to murder children. Because if we're not, then if we don't murder children, then someone has to look after them. Are uh, you going to do that? Which is just like saying... I mean, we shouldn't feed the homeless because they'll only be hungry tomorrow. You know, like, I understand that this, you know, not murdering the child doesn't mean that there won't be more problems in the future. But that doesn't mean that murdering the child is therefore the best option. Um, but that's just a kind of typical pro, uh, pro-choice bit of pretty nonsense. Um, but yeah, so the, I mean, look, it's Doctor Who, it's always going, it's a secular show, it's always going to have the kind of left-leaning thing. I don't mind it so much, um, I, I always try to tune it out a bit, just no matter what the messaging is, whether I agree with it, disagree with it, whatever, it's just not what I'm there for, um, and especially recently, I think Doctor Who's gotten very bad at doing messaging, so it used to be, uh, that basically, if they had something they wanted to critique or make fun of or whatever, They'd take it, they'd turn it into a big scary monster and the doctor would defeat it and then that would be it. But now what they have is they just have a big scary monster who's not at all related to whatever they want to critique. Uh, or at least this is how it's been done sometimes like during Chris Chibnall's run. Basically it'll be just this big scary monster with like nothing to do with the actual topic of the episode. And then something kind of tangential to that topic will like appear or what have you. And then at the end, the doctor will basically look down the camera and go, yeah, climate change, it's bad. And that, like, that'll be the messaging of the episode. Which, look, I, like, I believe... Oh, I have to go the long way around if I go this way. I'll just use the tunnel. Or no, I want to think it's quicker to go this way, but anyway. Um, like, I, I agree, climate change, yeah, it's not great. But I wish, like, it, just because the message is good doesn't mean it's automatically good storytelling. Uh, and that's something that's really annoyed me about Doctor Who is they, they really got rid of the storytelling in order to push their ideas. Which, look, again, it's always been a leftist show. I don't deny that. Some people try and fight that idea and say, no, it hasn't always been left-leaning. It has. Really, I mean, when you look at it, it has always been a left-leaning show. And I get that. And I'm, I'm, I don't really mind that. But the thing is, the left-leaning politics always came through in good sci-fi. In just good Doctor Who. So it was never a political show. It was a sci-fi show which used political elements in its storytelling. So if you came for the, you know, the political kind of thing, I mean, it was there for you if you wanted it. But if you didn't want it, that was okay because it wasn't overbearing. So you could just come for the sci-fi and stay for the sci-fi, which is what I've always done. I mean, I got into it as a kid. I didn't care about politics as a kid. Um, so, you know, I, I just wanted fun doctor who fun adventures and stuff um so with, with the messaging it like didn't matter to me i just cared that the episode was of decent quality and i'm kind of still the same i care obviously a bit more about politics now than i did when i was like a child 
but I don't go to Doctor Who for political insight. I go to Doctor Who for Doctor Who. So I don't mind that the politics is there. I just don't want it to be so overbearing that it's like all you can see in the episode. I want to be able to watch the episode and be entertained by it. Whether I agree with the messaging or not, again, um, going back to the climate change thing, there was an episode um, called Orphan 55 during uh, the Whitaker Chibnall era, where basically it was against climate change, right? And again, I believe in climate change, I think it's bad and so on. But basically what this episode did was it had nothing to do with climate change up until like, like they're on this desolate wasteland planet right and then at the very end the doctor finds out oh we're actually on earth the monsters had nothing to do with climate change nothing really had anything to do with climate change at all it's just they found out oh this desolate planet we're on used to be earth and that was it and then at the end the doctor basically looks down the lens of the camera and goes climate change not good and i'm like neither was this episode <laughs> you know like that's that's such a terrible way to like if the episode isn't good then your messaging isn't going to change that you can't substitute a good episode for a bad episode with right messaging that's no like that's why a lot of people even christians don't like christian films is because they're not good i mean do they have good messages sure of course they have good messages doesn't make them good films. You know? So, yeah, that's just something that annoyed me. It's like, just because your messaging is good. Oops, okay, I can't get rid of that there. Just because your messaging is good, that doesn't mean the episode is. So don't just write a bad episode with messaging that we should all agree with. And then say that's enough, because it's not. Um, there's a fly buzzing around my room now which is annoying me I hope he leaves soon but he probably won't right, hold on right so sorry about that now Um, that was a great big waste of time anyway what was that about oh yeah Doctor Who so that was the first episode, um, was called like Space Babies because they were babies in space. I actually, do you know what, do you know what? It was quite, it was, <laughs> it wasn't a good episode. All right. It, 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 it just wasn't. Neither of them were good. All right. Let's just be clear about this. Neither of them were good episodes, but they weren't the worst like I've ever seen they had merit they were entertaining like um i watched one of them when i was at the shop after getting off work waiting for the bus i didn't feel the time going by it was 40 something minutes i didn't feel the time going by they were entertaining and i think that's you know that's good <laughs> um so there's something to be said for it but it wasn't <sighs> that, that like that I don't know. I, ju I just miss I just miss good Doctor Who, man. I really do. I don't care how political the show gets. I just want it to be good. I just want my show back, guys. All right? This is such a big part of my childhood. I just want to be able to enjoy it again. Be able to have fun with it again. I don't feel like I've been able to do that in a long time because everything has been pushed to the background in order to help with the messaging and that's just such an annoying thing the messaging has always been there i don't mind it but i want it to be done well now i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this bit here i think when i leave this open yeah sure why not so you can come into the tunnel through here as well okay, i'm going to get rid of these bits so there and there so yeah, I did a lot of work off camera, like on this and on this, because I didn't think I was going to have enough time to get the tunnels done. And now the tunnels are done. And I don't know what else to do with the episode. <laughs> um, okay, I haven't thought this through. I'll start putting fences and stuff up.
But yeah, it's nice. I just, I, I just want to be able to enjoy one of my favorite shows again. I, I don't, I, I don't care about the messaging. I, I just, I want to have fun with this show that's been such a big part of my childhood and been such a big part of so many people's childhoods. Not just my own, but I mean, so many people have greatly benefited from Doctor Who. I mean, I think there was um a thing done. There, there was a a Christmas. What does it look like from this side? Let's see. I think that's grand. It'll have to do, I suppose. But there was a there was a Christmas special, um, during which the Doctor said that nobody was unimportant or that everybody was important and everyone matters and that sort of a thing. And there was a co- and I, I think I have fences up everywhere. They need to go well check. And there is a correlation with that episode airing and the number of suicides dropping. That's massive. Like that's really something. When you think about it, and yeah, I think I have all the fences and stuff placed. Okay, cool. But that that really is an amazing, amazing thing. So Doctor Who, I mean, it mean, I it means so much more to some people than it does to me. And I'm like, I think I have over there like wood here, so I'm going to put the wood here too. Um. So it just annoys me when people hijack it and they're like, okay, it's no longer the fun sci-fi show. Now this is my soapbox for my political messaging. Again, it's always been political. It's always been left-wing political. But it's always been a sci-fi show that incorporated politics. Not a politics show that incorporated sci-fi. And I think that's the main difference between what we've seen recently and what we've always had. Um, or who knows, maybe I'm just talking a whole lot of nonsense but I feel like I can enjoy it again. It's not good. I hope it gets better. But it's Doctor Who now. And it wasn't that before with Chip now. And I'm going to go to 25 minutes because I paused earlier to do that thing with the fly buzz and annoying me. So I think I'm going to add a little bit over here. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll push this back by a, a few blocks. We'll do four blocks. So one, two, three, four. There's some iron ore in the floor. I will not be getting it. Or, um, uh, or not iron, excuse me, copper. I, I have no use for copper. I mean, I can find loads of it if I want. But I have no use for it. I don't plan to build with it. I don't know, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I'll change my mind. If you guys have any suggestions for things that you think would look cool with copper specifically, then let me know. But for the time being, I don't plan to build with it. Okay. I'm going to... Bring this down here, there, and there. Oh, put this here anyway. There we go. And we'll move this out a couple as well. Now, the second episode I just watched, um, I'm going to be honest, I was expecting these to be a lot worse because, like, I, I saw so many things of, like, Doctor Who too woke to watch and things like that. And I was like, oh. So they have ruined it. Okay. Fine. I'll give it a go anyway. I'm glad I did because, I mean, there, there was a little bit of stuff that was kind of in there that was just so obviously like, it, it was there for brownie points. It was there so they could be, oops, it was there so they could be like, hey, look how cool and hip and progressive I am. But honestly, it didn't really take away from the episode. I mean, there was, so like the main villain was a tranny. But the only real reference, apart from the fact that they were played by a drag queen and looked like a drag queen, apart from the the, the aesthetic, the, the only real reference to th that person being a tranny was that they said their pronouns were they, them at like the start of the episode. And it just didn't really like matter after that, to be completely honest. It just wasn't important after that. So... So I need to go to bed now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it, I, I don't think... Look, was it like woke? Yeah. But it, was not, it wasn't worse than anything we've seen in the last few years. It, was, it wasn't unwatchably bad. The overall story was a bit silly. And they had a dance sequence at the end. Like this broke out into song and dance. Which was strange. And the Doctor keeps breaking the fourth wall. Oh, iron, lovely. The Doctor keeps breaking the fourth wall. And I think they're going to do something where it's like he knows he's in a show or something. I hope not. I really hope they don't go down that route. Because that's just... I just... I don't see them pulling that off. 
So there's there's a few things with like Gatwa's doctor that are a bit shaky that you know, down to the writing he's doing good. I I like him in the role. He he is doing good. The writing's a bit shaky though. So hopefully Davies doesn't do the typical thing of people don't like what I've done. It must be because they're all bad and sexist and racist and blah blah blah. I hope he sees the legitimate criticism of fans, and accepts it for what it is. And doesn't do that stupid thing where he lashes out and blames the fans for his own shortcomings. Because if he does that, I will lose any respect I have for him on the spot. I have no respect for people who do that. Seriously, it's it's such a immature and childish thing to do. To blame everybody else for your own shortcomings. Um, but yeah, so hopefully he, he listens to what people have to say. Um, and hopefully the people who are criticising... Well, one, two, three, okay... Hopefully the people who are criticising him are doing so genuinely. Because if they're not, then yeah, you shouldn't listen to them. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. He... I don't want to say that he probably will lash out and say it's all the fans' fault. Because I don't know what he's like personally. But that does seem to just be the general response from like everybody. Whenever they do something that isn't pretty much universally loved... Oh, it's because the fans are bad. It's like, the fans are the one who pay the ones who pay your bills. Are you sure you want to be saying that they're all racist and sexist and stuff? It's, you know, it's just annoying, man, when that happens. Because it's like, no, you made something we didn't like and we let you know we didn't like it in the hopes that you would improve and produce something better next time. We're not here actively. Ho- no one wants shows to be bad. No one, um, I'm sure some people want shows to be bad just so they can complain. But most people would rather a show be good because then there's another show that they can enjoy. Especially something with Doctor Who. I don't want Doctor Who to be bad. I want it to be good. When I'm complaining, it's not because I enjoy, well, I do enjoy complaining. But it's, uh, <laughs> I'm not complaining in this particular instance because i want the show to fail i want the show to succeed it's a big part of my childhood like i said but i criticize because i love it because i wanted to get better because i want the show to do well and to be entertaining and to be fun again and it's just not at the moment or well i say that it hasn't been for quite a while the 60th anniversary gave me hope uh it shows that because like Oh no, I'm putting uh, dirt down here. For the 60th anniversary special, the three episodes, I think the first one was not great. I mean, that was, that was like, the, the first one of them was much more woke than the, the tranny uh, episode this time. But, like, um, and I think that looks okay. I might do a wooden path here. I have to do logs the whole way, too, I think. Yeah, sure, why not? I think it'll look good. But, yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the, basically the three episodes, the first one wasn't great. The second one I really liked. Um, none of them were perfect. Like in the second one, I didn't like the bit with Isaac Newton. Everyone seemed to like it apart from me, which I guess everyone's just stupid. <laughs> but I'm messing. But um, yeah, and the third one then was really good up until the by generation. But even when it was bad, it was bad Doctor Who. As opposed to before when it was just not Doctor Who. During like Chibnall's era and that. It wasn't just like... Even the best of Chibnall's era was just the best of something that wasn't really Doctor Who. It just didn't have the feel, it didn't have the vibes, it did. It, it just wasn't the same. So even, I remember, I think I even said this to someone after the, the 60th, it, it, even though the 60th wasn't perfect, it wasn't anywhere near the heights of the 50th, and the individual episodes weren't anniversary standard in my opinion. It was all still made worth it and that's annoying okay, I'm just gonna put slabs here it was all still made worth it by the fact that it actually felt like Doctor Who was back it, it really felt like Doctor Who again and well, that hasn't been the case for quite a while so yeah I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being now and I might just do I have any logs left no I'll just go and punch down the tree well I won't punch it no reason to but I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Sorry, I didn't talk about Christianity and stuff like usual, but sure, look it. This is just something I wanted to say. If you'd like me to talk about more not-so-Christian topics in the future, please do let me know. 
If you like the builds we made today, please do let me know. If you don't like them, then you're racist and sexist. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye and God bless.